I'd like to ask uh, Miss Jennifer Grace to come up, please. I apologize, man. <laughs> That's quite all right. I've been overlooked about a lot of things. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Have a proclamation here for the uh, Boys Club, Boys and Girls Club Week in the city of Gaston. Whereas the young people of Gaston, Alabama are tomorrow's leaders, and many such young people need professional youth services to help them reach their full potential. There are three Boys and Girls Club organizations in Gaston, Alabama, providing services to more than 750 young people annually. Boys and Girls Clubs are places where great futures start. They're at the forefront of efforts in academic success, healthy lifestyles, good character, and citizenship. Boys and Girls Club organizations in our state help ensure that our young people keep off the streets, offering them a safe and supported place to go and providing them with quality programs. Boys and Girls Clubs of Northeast Alabama will celebrate National Boys and, <coughs> Boys and Girls Club Week 2011, along with some 4,000 clubs that are more than 4 million young people nationwide. Therefore, be it resolved, I, Sherman Guyton, the mayor of the city of Gaston, do hereby proclaim March 20th through the 26th as Boys and Girls Club Week in Gadsden and call on all our citizens to join me in recognizing and commending the Boys and Girls Club organizations in our state for providing comprehensive, effective services to the young people of our communities. I'd like to say, too, I, I used to work at the Boys Club back in the dark ages, but uh, it, there's a lot of good things. They, they also get training in character and manners and working with other people and how to get along with other people. Uh, and the council and the city has been real supportive of the boys clubs to try to keep some things going for them. They fell on hard times like a lot of nonprofits do, but it's very important. And if they, they always need volunteers. They have several event fundraisers, so anybody out there that wants to ever get involved and volunteer, they'll be glad to have you. And I'm going to let Miss Grace say a few words. I would like to thank the mayor for this proclamation and all the help that he has done and the council has done for us, especially this past year. Um, we have great things happening. I'm not saying we're, you know, out of the woods yet, but uh, we do have a positive place for our kids to go each day. And we have an event today that we are trying to set a world record for doing jumping jacks simultaneously for two minutes. We're hosting that event at our Basil Gilchrist unit. Um, the event registration opens at 4.30 and the uh, actual jumping jack event will take place at 5.30. Now we are jumping with all of the Boys and Girls Clubs around the country. Um, at 5.30 and we are asking the community to come and join us because we're trying to um, help children, you know, um, lead healthy active lifestyles and try and fight that childhood obesity issue that we do have out there in our community these days and make it a fun event for our children to know that they're fighting a cause and having fun at the same time. So if you're interested in coming out today, to join us in celebrating Boys and Girls Club Week. We would love to have you um, and jump with us for two minutes. I can't say it's going to be an easy task because I've tried it. <laughs> and two minutes is a long time, but we're going to do our best to break that record. The record is 278 venues um, with more than 25 <laughs> contestants to fight this. And I know we're going to have at least 150 to 200 people there today just in our organization alone. So I think just in our organization, we can fight that. But with all the kids around the country, it's going to be a neat experience. So we're making history today, and I encourage you all to come and join us. And I thank you for this time. Thank you. She asked me to come jump. Uh, really, I was going to see if any of the council wanted to, but uh, of course, I have a titanium hip. But I believe Deverick's probably the only one up there that can walk good. So I don't know if any of us will be jumping or not. 